Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington here. Um, earlier I posted on my uh, YouTube channel that I wanted to do um, a game review, or thought about doing video game reviews and stuff. And um, <clears throat> today I think I'll be reviewing Twilight Princess. Um, the reason why is because it's what I've been playing most recently, and the Zelda series is my favorite video game series. Um, now, it's uh, it's interesting how Twilight Princess kind of came to be, and I know I'm gonna get flack for this. Anyone who like, if I'm wrong on something, you know, let me know, but don't be a dick about it. Um. I, I know a lot of people out there love Zelda and stuff, so I'm probably going to get some hate if I say one thing wrong, but that's okay. But anyway, it's, it's kind of funny, because uh, this game was actually, uh, it was released in 2006 for the Nintendo GameCube and the Nintendo Wii, um, as actually, I think it was actually one of the launch titles for the Wii, and um, it was... It's a very, very fun Zelda game. Um, a lot of complaints that um, people have with it is that it's too dark and not in a, not dark in a um, theatrical way, but dark in a just devoid of color. Which, yes, it's, it is true. It's, it is a dark game in that sense. Um, but to some people, it really affects the gameplay. To me, it doesn't, mainly because the room I'm in, uh, there's a fair amount of light, and as long as there's no real glare, it doesn't bother me. Um, every time I've played the game, I've never really had too much of a problem with uh, the darkness and stuff, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, it's taken kind of back, because this game was... Uh, it was in production for a while, I know that, because if you go back to after Majora's Mask came out, um, the, the next game in the Zelda cycle was Twilight Prince, or it wasn't Twilight Princess, excuse me, it was Wind Waker, and um, the trailer for the next Zelda game at that conference was a more realistic Zelda game where there was, um, it, it, it basically just showed Link and Ganondorf duking it out. But they were really realistic, and after that, the next year, you know, they came up with uh, Wind Waker. They showed the Wind Waker beta trailer, and, you know, a lot of people were really upset by that. A lot of people hated it. And I, I partially think Nintendo, like, res like, saw that and responded with this game, so that way they still had the, the big, bad adult realistic kind of like more realistic than any other Zelda game Zelda which it is um but with any game you're gonna have people who are gonna love it and people who are gonna hate it so no matter how much praise the games get there's always gonna be haters out there for a game <clears throat> and unfortunately this game does get some flack for it being kind of boring and kind of devoid of just options um a lot of people find the link, or not the link, the wolf link sections because it, it's not a big spoiler. You know, you get turned, in, link gets turned into a wolf, and uh, he, you find those sections boring at sometimes. I personally, I could see where they're coming from, but personally for me, it wasn't extremely boring. It was more or less, um, yeah, you know, it just made me look forward to when I was either back to human. Or what came next to make the game better and I've beaten this game about three times and I'm on my fourth playthrough right now and I'm at the last third of the game and um, every time you play it or at least for me I've gotten a different feeling from the game um, I'll always be a big Zelda fan and every time like y you get like well, it's kind of a little, like the first time I played it, I was immersed in it, and I was in love with it, and I was like, wow. Second time, it was kind of the same feeling, but with a little more like, I wish this didn't have such a slow start, 
third time, kind of the same thing. This time, I um, I can see after I've like watched videos and other reviews about it, I can see and I, I compare that in my head. Um, where people are like, well, this part's boring or it's got a slow start. And I can see that and it does ruin the immersion for me a little bit. But it, don't don't let that slow you down. It's a really, really good game. Um, the art style, in my opinion, if it wasn't so dark, would be amazing. It still is beautiful. Um, I find that it's it's one of the Zelda games out there that, yes, it has a Princess Zelda, and yes, it has a Ganondorf, but you don't have the classic save the princess from Ganondorf feel from this game. You get the, I have to save someone personal, because the beginning of the game, again, this kind of spoilers, so I'm giving you spoilers warning for a game that came out almost, oh gosh, um, eight years ago, something like that, eight, nine years ago, eight years ago, <laughs> sorry, um, for a game that came out so long ago, um, he, in the beginning, Link is in this village called Ordon Village, sorry if my pronunciation, or er, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, and, um, you, you can kind of get a vibe between him and this other girl for a, uh, more love connection. Like, you actually care about her. You want she gets kidnapped, and you want to save her. And it's, it's actually really interesting that they did that, because in every Zelda game that I've played, I've played Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, A Link to the Past, and stuff. The, you, you get the I have to save the world feeling, but you don't really get the I have someone I really care care about personally feeling and uh, I want to save them like I want to go out and save her and help whoever I can yes this does suffer from a few classic Zelda hiccups example the slow start a lot of Zelda games have a really somewhat slow start and that that can be quite a turn off so if you, you're not into games that kind of have a slow start but I promise you it gets really good and yes like I said it does have a slow start um and a lot of people find that it follows the classic tradition of Zelda games have bad water temples which I find uh that to be true, you know, Ocarina of Time, the water temple in there is horrible, it's kind of, it's very boring, and you have this sense of, like, I'm not going anywhere in the game, Great Bay Temple kind of suffers from the same thing, this is, uh, in this one you have Lake Bed Temple, and it does and doesn't feel like that, it's got a really interesting mechanic, and the boss is amazing, um, but it does have that occasional uh, boring water temple theme but one thing that this do, this game you know has its classic fl flaws does make up for something in my opinion the best compan one of the best companions Minda who is a Twilight imp from the Twilight Realm she's extremely helpful nowhere near as annoying as Navi or Tattle and uh, is extremely just kind of BA. I mean, she can take down a beast pretty well. And there's a very good example of that later in the game, which I won't spoil for you. You have to play it yourself. And for those who have played this game, you know what I talking or what I'm talking about near the end of the game. Um. Out, out of a rating out of a 10, I'd probably get this a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. It's a great Zelda game, but it has its classic Zelda flaws. Um, but it does make up for it. It is dark, it is kind of more adult, and you, f you deal with things that are more interesting. One thing I do have to note... Um, 
in every Zelda, you know, you kind of have all the different tunics and armor. This one you have, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it is the most double-edged sword tunic ever. You have an invincible tunic that runs not off of magic, runs off of your rupees. And when you run out of rupees, you become extremely heavy and you move like your molasses, basically. But when you have rupees, you're invincible. So it's cool, but not practical, especially if you're not one of the Zelda guy or one of the gamers that goes out and doesn't collect rupees if he doesn't need to, or she. Which, personally, I am one of those people. I will only get rupees if it's for something I need or if it's a side quest. Um, I won't extensively go out and get rupees throughout the game. Now, out of every link in the lineage from the games I've played personally, I find this link one of my favorites. His art design, I love. I love his armor. Um, it's a regular tunic, but you can actually see there's actually chain mail under his armor. And he, um, it's a very interesting kind of darker tunic. It's green, but it's, you know, follows the lack of color in the game. Um, the Master Sword is still the Master Sword. And one thing I find awesome is that they brought back one of my favorite characters in the Zelda universe that I um, haven't seen in a game since. And that's probably just because I haven't played one with him in it. Skull Kid's in this game. Skull Kid is in the game very briefly, but he's kind of a mini boss, and it's really interesting. It doesn't, that's not a spoiler or anything. It's just interesting to see one of my, my favorite, my personal favorite Zelda villain, because Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game. In, back in, and he looks pretty cool. Um, but, like I said, Twilight Princess, great Zelda game. Um, they're like, tw it's like 20 bucks for the game because it's been out for so long. It's a really good Wii game. The controls actually handle pretty well from my personal experience. I've never really had a problem with them. You know, doesn't cripple the experience. It, it helps you be fully immersed, and it does kind of feel awesome when you're like and you're swinging your sword around. Um, the only thing that if you're a hardcore Zelda gamer, you'll note that Link is right-handed in this game, and unlike every other game, Link is left-handed. The reason why they did that primarily is because the primarily the, the majority of people are right-handed. I personally am left-handed, but most of the things I do, I do right-handed and that's just because that's what happens when you're left-handed. Uh, you get corrected as a child. Anyway, and um, so it's not that bad. But it's kind of interesting just to see that. I think they actually fixed that Skyward Sword and made him left-handed. Um, so yeah, that's my review. Um, leave comments for other games. I do have a couple more. I don't know if I'll be doing them later tonight. But tell me what you think. And I will definitely look into other games for you guys if you want me to review them. See you later. Keep on rocking.